Hello everyone and welcome to the first tech tutorial video on a uh, self-powering combustion engine and refinery and just just literally a uh, power system that powers itself and can also produce more power on top of that. Now I've separated it in parts here, I'm just going to change the time of the day. I've separated in parts to the uh, water system, the engines themselves, that's just fuel storage, that's the refinery, that's oil storage, and this is a oil fabricator, so this is actually producing oil. You could use instead of this just an oil source and strap your pump to the top and teleport pipe and teleport it to the tanks, whatever, but this just runs as well off the combustion engine power. So, first of all, I'm going to start off by showing you how to make the water pump system. Now we're going to use a 3x3 three three infinite water source here. Now you can use smaller infinite water sources, but the problem is they occasionally uh, run out simply because they can't reproduce the used up water quick enough. Whereas in the 3x3 three three with two pumps, it can. And the reason I'm using two pumps is because one pump like this is enough to power three combustion engines. But I like using two for four combustion engines just to be on the safe side because if you get a bit of lag, you know, tick goes missing, whatever, then you should still have a perfectly cooled uh, combustion engines. Now I've just put waterproof cobblestone pipe and a waterproof teleport pipe here. I'm going to set that up to minus something. Phil, let me, can I not set minus numbers? Uh, let's go 500 for that because I have these set up to numbers. I don't want to get them confused. Now, next is the combustion engines. So, if I just turn creative mode off, and then what we're going to need is uh, combustion engines for one. We're going to need stone to put them on. A teleport pipe. We need stone waterproof, cobble waterproof, power teleport, gold tele uh, power <laughs> teleport, gold conductive, wooden conductive, uh, redstone torches, and I think that's just about it. So. I'm going to place each of the combustion engines on top of a block first, and destroy those blocks, and then I'm going to use stone on the bottom, let's go there, 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 that'll be where the fuel goes in, and the water comes in from here, like so, that should start filling with water, lovely. Now, I'm going to place these around here, like that. One redstone torch there, one redstone torch. See, each redstone torch powers two. Same with this, both engines on the one torch. Uh, just means you can use less. Of course, you can use levers for that, whatever. It just needs to have a, a redstone input. And for the power supply, now this is quite important. To take power out of an engine, you need wooden conductive pipes and then from there you can use gold I like to use gold because it's um, what's the word it uses it loses less power it's more efficient and then there's your power plot power teleport pipe there so let's set this to a 400 and that's going to receive true this one's going to be set to 100 no 200 we're going to say uh, actually, I'll say it's 100 because then I can use the already power being produced there. Now, I don't really need to build this to explain it. Um, this is just tanks. You've got a wooden waterproof pipe to suck the fuel out, and that just teleports it in. And this is. I'm not sure. What, oh, that's the fuel going in from the refinery. Refinery is also quite simple, but I will build one for you guys just to show you because that is more complicated. I will also add this well to be downloaded. Um, I'm going to, as I do the series, I can do more and more and more and more of this and then every time I'll use new world and you can just see how everything's built and whatever. Uh, but I'm not going to repeat that again. I may actually destroy this whole line in the world just so you've got one line. But we're going to need a refinery. 
We're going to need the power supply for it. We're going to need the wooden waterproof pipe to suck it out. We're going to use stone to transport it. Redstone engine and redstone torch. And we're going to need a waterproof teleport pipe. And I believe that's it. So let's just reset the time. Don't like it getting dark. Uh, now I've set that two back. And I've forgotten to put creative mode on. Luckily we only need one of those. That goes there with that, that, that. Uh, I can put the oil to come in from there. Um, I will show you what the oil fabricator, how to set up the fabricator as well because that requires, uh, it's a little, I'll have to explain what the blocks are for because that is actually converting the power produced by the engines, which is mm, uh, Minecraft jewels, I think it is, to EU, which the fabricator runs off such, like your macerator would run off EU as well. Uh, so I'm just going to put a power supply in there, and that now has power, and let's see if that will start producing fuel, which I will pump out into here, that takes 20 in, but 15 out, so I can set this up to not that, set it up to the same as the other one. The fuel will go in, and this sh should. There we go. I've started pumping away. The refinery will work, but it needs uh, some oil in it to actually produce anything. Uh, but as we get more power, hopefully, yeah, you can see this is using up the power very quickly. Uh, I won't bother building another one of these, there's not much point, but I will explain it. So let me just sit down so I don't die. Fast clicking. Now, what you need, I use one MFE, one medium voltage uh, engine generator, and you don't need an energy link. So I thought you did, but energy link is from converting EU to MG. So say if you had a load of solar panels, you then connect the energy link to convert the solar power EU into MG to say power a quarry. But this is like the reverse. So what I've done is I have the power from the combustion engines being teleported in and going into an engine generator of medium voltage because that then goes through an optic fiber cable into the MFE. Now you don't need this, you could have it going straight into the oil fabricator, but the only reason I've got it going in here is because it allows me to monitor how much power I'm producing, like whether I'm producing more than enough or like not hitting the maximum yet but as you can see it's the ore fabricator uses up a lot of energy uh, it literally it's a very simple thing though energy goes in oil goes out and that is basically it i know this has been a bit of a quick tutorial but i didn't want to have to go through everything such as how a redstone engine is made if you need to know how a redstone engine made or a combustion engine is made you can look that up quickly this is more just showing you the, my design or just a design in general that works efficiently to power itself and can power more. I've actually got several of these where I have one of these and one of these set up in pairs and I have like four of those pairs and say four refineries, one uh, oil fabricator all set up and I've got that power in a quarry and uh, I, where I've converted it into EU I've got the power in all my macerator and machinery and that. But yeah, that's basically that. There's going to be more of these tutorials to come. And I'm also planning on doing a Let's Play. So uh, thank you for watching. And I hope this has helped.